that we had going on. And uh, let me introduce uh, Chris Minerz on the phone right now with the OBCC and Charlie Bunn. Thank you for having me. Okay. So, uh, I got a little break into my classroom. I tell my life and the rest of this stuff is microscopic. This paragraph, this is the case of last resort, you need a fire hose. Travel across here, we'll see another fire hose station out to your left. We'll get a briefing on that. In case we have a no two degrees in front, red light will pop on. You're in the white room, white room, wearing your elsas or something, you're presented with a lot of fire here. 87 gallons a minute of flow. That very well should be significant. If it's not, you've got a 50 foot hose line over there. Any additional water is going to make it hard to see, but in the worst case scenario, hopefully you won't have to. Maybe fire access will be enough. Some equipment in here that could be used by. Over here we have uh, evil demons and single bottle spares. That's oxygen over here. Get there. There we have to. It's breathing. <laughs> Get in, in, down. You can sit. You can stand. It's probably best to sit. That we accommodate. Basket stopped. Now, as soon as it stops, that's as good as it's going to get. It does have an anti rollback on there. Now, you notice that, well, you can imagine how. Now, to get out, but again, either way you want to work it is fine. That push well out, put all your weight on the bar, then the next person does the same thing, and then push well out. 80 pounds. Excellent. Then it's probably not a. We've come down. Do you want to release the, the side again? Or? Or through the air system. Just as you're what? Free with it? Put the weight in. And then effectively you just pull the straight. Okay. Kind of all 26 of these stations to build up. Shuttle Endeavor's STS-127 crew participates in aircraft training. Space Shuttle Endeavor's